Okay, just a little video here on EVAP testing. Show you some things that work and what don't work, and what should really be done here to make this to make this a little more effective. If you want to do some EVAP testing, what we have here is a PT Cruiser, about an 05 or 05 with a 24 non-turbo. What I do is I got my smoke machine hooked up here. I got it set on vacuum, so I'm measuring the vacuum at the at the EVAP port, which is the line hose between the purge solenoid and the and the canister. So right now we got a little bit of purge going on, and we're showing just a little bit of vacuum there, measured in water columns. I would imagine that is. So, and I got my scanner set up here. And what we're going to do here is we're going to go to a purge vapor test. We click on that, and it will come up here. It's not the clearest, but hopefully you could see what's what's going on here. It would be nice if I could uh, block out the light a little bit or adjust a tent. But anyways, we'll go to flow. Oops. Yeah, we just... Uh, the uh, smoker just... Uh, just phased out. It just shut off on me. It does it after a few minutes. But uh, you can see now we got some... We're running about 30 inches water column in here. Uh, I think that's how we're measuring this. Anyways, uh, and right now we can see we're running right at 50% uh, duty cycle and we can tell we're purging here because our short-term trim is uh, bouncing all around. So anyways, what would be nice on this is if when you're doing a purge vapor test is if you could watch to see what your NVLD is, what your leak detection, not your uh, not your pump, but your NVLD is doing when you're doing this test here. We'll put this back on block here and we can see our uh, the engine doesn't die from adjusting. Then we're back to zero pressure or zero vacuum in the hose and we're back over here to uh, on our purge duty cycle we're back over at zero. So it would be nice when you're doing a purge test when doing a vapor test like this, if you could watch to see if your NVLD is uh, opening or closing, and whether it's being commanded, or whether the solenoid is being commanded, just to make it to make this vapor test. Because when you're doing the when you're doing the service bay test, you can't really see any data on this vehicle while the test is going on. At least not that I've been able to figure out. So you can see here, we'll go back. We'll put this to normal. This will probably go up to about 20. It'll switch back and forth. It'll settle in right around 16 to 20 percent duty cycle on the purge solenoid, and just a little bit of vacuum in here. But it would be nice to know what your, if the contact points your NVLD are good or not, because you could easily tell your point. You know your point of vacuum in the tank, but are your contacts with are your contact points any good in your in the NVLD? So. I guess that's about it. That's about all I really had to show here. I was going to try to do some more stuff. If I can come up with another video, I'll do that. So that's about it.